If you want to, you gotta come over here though. No. Why not? Uh -uh. All right, well, tell everyone hi, because they can hear you, but you gotta say it loud, because the camera's up here. Hi. The, the, it, it's over here. Uh. <laughs> Tracy says hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another card video. Today I have a package from My Favorite Things and we're gonna open it together. Oh yeah, that's a great shot, right? We're gonna open it together and then make some stuff. I always love getting a package from My Favorite Things. It is packed with love. Yes, it is. And they always give a little jelly bean, which I always set aside for Dexter. First up is the snowflake flurry background. Next is mini mugs, and they're just that, mini mugs, adorable. This one is coffee mug, and I love it. Next is coffee and conversations with these adorable coffee pun sentiments. Next up is freezing season and the coordinating dyes. Last but not least is Alpine Friends with a ski theme. Do you normally perform in such, in front of such a large audience? <laughs> no. In fact, most of the time I'm down here by myself and it's kind of weird. Yeah. It's kind of weird. So it's nice Maybe to like- you're nervous. <laughs> no. It's okay, good. <laughs> but it's kind of nice to have like actually someone to talk to. Wouldn't it be cool if you could invite maybe one of your fans to come and see you film. That would be great, but nobody lives around here. Like all of my followers are elsewhere. Okay, Not all of them, some of them are. I have invited people to come craft with me. Nice. On And then COVID hit and it became oh. taboo to like have people that right. close to you. Okay. Um, but I would love for people to come craft with me. If you're close to me and want to come craft with me in my space while I have it, um, <laughs> Come and come craft with me because I got to use it while I, I can. Love that idea. These are the products I've decided to use on today's card. There's snowflakes. Oh, I love that color. What color is it? Oh, those are stamps. Yeah, it's just the color. Uh, in fact, they used to be red rubber. So they used to be like this. I guess they're, it's a new thing to make them gray, which were blue. Gray is like the hot new color, I swear. I've been seeing that It's a lot. because of my influence. It is. It is. I believe. <laughs> like your sign says, I believe. <laughs> you know that was made for me? That is really My cool. friend Jude made that to, for me. It's beautiful. I love it. Okay, I'm going to take these two pieces of vellum and sew them together to make a pocket. For these clouds, this is from Honey Bee, and it's called Head in the Clouds, but they also look like froth. So we're gonna put them in there to make some froth shaker card pocket. Just throw them all over the place. <laughs> so once I sealed up my shaker pocket, I cut out the mug from a piece of Gina K Designs craft cardstock. I want to heat emboss these snowflakes onto the mug as if they were a design on the mug. It was really fun showing Tracy how to heat emboss because you know, it's magic. And I like sharing that with everyone. I did end up stamping the snowflakes twice, but these rubber background stamps stamp so well, I probably really didn't need to. I'm using some detail white embossing powder also from Gina K Designs. It's kind of a Gina day. If you haven't seen this process before, you shake off all of the excess powder and then you take your heat tool to it and it is magic. I tend to heat the back first and kind of lock it in and then I flip it over and heat the front and that's when you get to see the good stuff. The embossing powder melts and solidifies onto the paper in the design that you stamped. 
So now I'm doing that same exact process, but this time I've masked part of the words on this sentiment. The sentiment says, may the froth be with you, but I wanted the froth to be white and the rest to be hot chocolate. I'm going to pretend that this sentiment was made just for me, so thank you to whoever designed it. So then I went back in and after I made the froth white, I went back in and stamped the rest of the sentiment in, and then heat embossed it with the hot chocolate embossing powder. Now I'm using the tape runner adhesive just to go around the back where my stitches are. It kind of locks in my stitches as well as adheres that vellum piece to my card panel. I'm using foam squares to pop up the, the mug on to, into the center kind of of the card panel. I wasn't really sure how I wanted to place things. So honestly, Tracy was kind of directing me. She's the one that takes all of my cards at this point. So uh, I just let her tell me where it went. The sentiment, however, was popped up with double foam tape to make it over the cup and still have dimension. I hope you enjoyed making a card with me today. Please like, subscribe, do all the YouTube-y things. And um, until next time.